So this is a game I've kept my eye on for a little while. And even, it's still in early access. Every time I've looked at it, it's like, this looks like exactly my type of game. Kind of XCOM-ish. Well, as I tend to like to do in the first episode of a new game, I want to see if I get any copyright notices due to music. Uh, because, you know, why not? I'm going to do soft, that. I don't really like motion blur. We'll try some depth. Let's get you 16, and we'll try this all the way on high, and what's the... Yeah, we'll try that. V-Sync is on, that's fine. Uh, I think this means we are on that, but... Yep. I'm surprised it didn't say... Resolution set to 1920 by 1080, dumbass! Exclamation point, but there you go. And we'll figure out the rest of this as it goes. Okay, gameplay, combat, normal, normal, space incursions, don't know. Uh, auto save on level transmission, transition. I'm actually, you know, I'm going to turn on friendly fire. I, because I'm, I'm really bad at a lot of games, pretty much every single one. And that, why not? I hope that applies to enemies, too. If this doesn't, doesn't apply to enemies also, I'm going to turn it off. Ooh, look at all those keys. All right. I think I'm done. Enter the eight-digit... Enter an eight-digit number to see the... Oh, this this has progressive... Uh, procedural stuff to it? Create your main character... Then select from one of two options. Enter an eight digit number. Uh, okay, it stopped at eight. I just randomly hit the key, the number pad on the keyboard, which reminds me I gotta figure out how to clean a, all this crap out of the keys. And start on Dauntless. You will continue the game with this character. Create your main character and skip the Dauntless. You will miss the background story of the game, a few boss fights, and some nice loot. Alright. I'm just gonna create main character and start on the Dauntless. The universe is generated once at the beginning of every new game. Alright. Can't do any screen panning, zoom in, out, rotationals, or anything here. As it saves the universe. I hope I don't have uh, sound issues, copyright sound issues. That's kind of a catchy tune. Enter the name above the portrait. Uh, this thing crashed after I tried to start the game. It's just black screen, this cursor. Uh, yeah, so this is take two gonna do the same thing with the old that I do with the original character
All right. Oop, there you go. Oh, no, 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 no. You, squirrely guy. I aim yet another victory. Critical hit! Sorry, not happening. There we go. No, six. Crap, I don't remember what the hell I put around these things. Initiative. Uh, I think I wanted perception. Intelligence. Uh, dexterity. Hack. I did rifles. Oops. Uh, hacking. And electronics, because why not? Okay, so this is kind of where it broke last time. Boot icon on the toolbar while out of combat. Got this screen. Can I bypass it? Okay. Uh, I'll go through all four of these pages. Exit. Okay. See? Here we are. We're in the game. Never Didn't get this far the last time. So, there's me. We got... You, you, and you. Who? All right. What are we? Is there an alt or? A, well, okay. Console. Hello. Can you hear me? Barely. You're breaking up. Damn it. Broken junk. Still having problems. Click. That should do it. How about now? Oh, very good. I can see you now on the monitor. Much better. Exactly. What's the situation? My name is Dr. Mortimer Ramus. You can call me Doc. I must apologize for your abrupt arousal. We have a most unusual circumstance. Who are you? As I mentioned, I'm Dr. Ramus. I'm a member of one of two rotation shift teams here on the Dauntless. My cryo shift engaged three weeks ago. My job, specifically, is to analyze the medical condition of the colonists in stasis aboard this ship. Alright, what triggered emergency? Well, you see, it was me. I did it. I triggered the emergency system. We have a problem. Seems there has been a phage outbreak. Normally, some, something we could handle. However, this time it's a little, little tiny bit more complicated. What do you mean complicated? More about that later. First, are you fit? Any physical anomalies? How's your memory? Oh, so many questions. You seem well for what I can see. Very exciting. Yeah, I think so. Difficult to remember why we are here. Hmm, I wonder. One minute, yes. I see you have minor neurological damage. Likely nothing serious. I suspect over time you will recover. To answer your question, phage... I didn't ask that question. Phage is a viral disease, quite deadly in more ways than one. However, a cosmic anomaly is the primary reason we are on this ship. I'll explain in more detail later. However, right now we need to get you prepared. I assume you remember your training? Training, yeah, sure. Okay, let's get you equipped then. Meanwhile, I'll review the protocols for activating your mission parameters. Pre please proceed through the door. Okay. What if... Alright, we got that. Alright, it's wasted to move the camera around. Or screen edge. Are there... Uh, escape does not bring anything up. Great! Looks like you can follow instructions. If the manual's correct, the lockers in this room contain your weapons and body armor, along with a few bits and bobs. Let's see, okay, the protocol documented here states that you should equip yourselves. Gotcha! Let's get cracking. Time is of the essence. I'm reading through the mission protocol now, and I should be able to brief you momentarily. Oh, we're equipped. 
Fantastic! You look ready for business. Let me activate your data implants. This will only take a moment. What data implants? Good question. The manual says, the team that has had implants surgically applied. These implants receive and transmit data between squad members. The information is projected onto an ocular array providing squad members with superior battlefield intelligence, communication, and rapid access to reference information. Data stored includes an active tally of on-hand equipment, mission parameters, blah, blah, and finally, blah. Gotcha. Once the implants are activated, I should be able to communicate with you discreetly through your implants. Okay, let's see if I press this button. How's that? Burns. Yeah, yeah, you'll get used to it. Now, there should be chests or boxes with ammunition and equipment. You should gather as much as you can carry. When you're finished, head through the next door. I'll fill you in the details of the situation. Right. Inventory and character. I. All items. Can be used or equipped when are added to your shared inventory when looted. Also automatically added to the list of available items. Man, this is a lot of words. Ammunition is automatically exit. What am I doing? Take all. Really? That's it? Okay, so... Do I have a... Okay, options. I gotta move this freaking mic. Take its little stupid little legs off. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, trust me. It's annoying. Um... No. Oh, there's nothing I can do. Just a toggle. Interactables, it looks like. Oh, well. Oh. Space controls. Cool. Uh, nothing there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A whole lot of nothing. There's a box. Go grab it. Uh, 24 rounds of pistol ammunition. Six rounds of knife rifle ammunition. And a large health pack. All right. Constant 60 FPS, that's nice. Um, what was I supposed to do here? Can I rotate? Oh, yeah. Uh, not with Q and E though, but with right mouse down. Okay. We gotta figure out something. Something, something, something. Oh. See, there was no indicator for about about the door. I remember that now, and it hasn't changed. It's been a year since I played this last. Tried to play it last. Who's up front? Arnold Meeson. Tremor. Don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. It's turn-based combat, so... Why you got plussies? Oh, mod slot not available, non slot not available, ammunition character. Okay. What do you currently have? Your submachine guns. Um submachine guns and first aid. Shards of death. I guess that should matter. Mm. You are first aid and two handed melee. You are one handed melee and hacking. Oh, you stole my hacking. And I am hacking and. R rifles? No! I wanted shotguns. Damn it. Oh well, I guess I'm 
rifles and hacking. All right, fine. Um, you need the other stuff. Your mach some machine guns. Um, you got. Can I just? Can I just like let you do what you want to do, or do I have to do it for you? All right. Dexterity, agility, endurance, and let's increase the speed at which you learn skills. Uh, first aid, two hand melee, I'm gonna make you charismatic, why not? Why? Oh. <laughs> okay. Two handed melee, two. Intelligence, two. Perception one, agility two. A sign. I'm just throwing these around willy nilly. Because why not? I think everybody dies in the end. <laughs> um, spoiler alert. I don't know if it's changed or not. Uh, submachine guns. Okie dokie. That's done. Nobody has any equipment. Oh, you do. You have a standard issue rifle and a standard issue submachine gun. Jenny who? Arnold, Arnold Meissen has the big old iron sledgehammer and a pistol. Sarah Ralph has rifle, iron bow knife, and I got a rifle and a pistol. Okie dokie, okie dokie dokie smokey. I think we're done. Should I save? Probably. Oh. Yeah, sure. What's the quick save button? Oh, I don't see a quick save button. Oh well. That's not good. Uh, Dr. Ramus. Okay, let me start at the beginning. I realize you may not remember why we we are here. Phage is one of the reasons. A virus so insidious that it destroys the majority of life that it destroyed the majority of life on our planet. We had endured wars between the great houses of our world for thousands of years. Climate change, plague, and starvation. We finally succumbed to a tiny invader that mutated so fast that our physicians and scientists couldn't keep up. Antigenic Energetic drift, our immune systems would fight and lose. Most curious, this strain of the virus was different. It is as if it sought to meld with our physiology, symbiosis, yet it was unsuccessful and the result was a destruction of the host. Fascinating in a way, yet eh, horrible and deadly. The result was terrifying. The virus attached itself to our neurological system, destroying the host's brain, yet leaving the brainstem intact. The streets of our world were filled with mindless creatures, twitching and gyrating, bodies in motion with no purpose. It attacked all mammalian attacked it attacked all mammalian life, mutating human and beast. Soon our source of food was depleted, crops devastated, and water poisoned. Within twenty years our planet was decimated, cities overgrown, the only remaining law, the houses. They had retreated to their shelters, euthanizing any who showed signs of the disease and, ta and taking in those that could be proven immune. Grim days indeed. Immune? Yeah! There were some who were immune to the phage. A very few. You are immune, as am I. In fact, this ship and three others are, I believe, all that remains of humanity hurling across the universe. We are all immune, or so we thought. What you mean? I'll get to that. The result was a world with a bleak future, but we held on, 
and we made some progress. In fact, the houses started to communicate again. We found ways to cultivate safe foods and water. Plans were in place to venture forth again in an attempt to recolonize. Then something tragic and final occurred. An event so improbable and rare that it was inconceivable. <laughs> Speeding towards our planet, an asteroid the size of a small moon. There was only one solution left, the stars. Our scientists had long ago identified several planets revolving around nearby stars. We worked tirelessly, harvested the best ideas, and developed a plan. We are part of that plan. We built great ships, one of which we are on now. The Dauntless, one of four that contained the sleeping room. What happened to three? Why were there only... Th okay, well, anyways. One of four that contained the sleeping remains of... Remnants of humanity. Four giant ships speeding across space at just below the speed of light aimed at two likely new home systems separated by a mere two light years. Both the best last solution for our people. There's so much more I can say, but this is not the time for an extended history lesson. Time to discuss the here and now. Yeah, why am I awake? You are actually a very well hidden secret. I was not even aware of your existence. You are a member of a tactical squad, squad whose sole purpose is to eliminate any hostile threat to our mission. That is, the mission of arriving at our destination. Very highly trained and apparently surgically and genetically modified. I had often wondered what was behind that door. Threat? Yes, well, murder. That and a phage outbreak. Several of our crew members have been murdered and others may be infected. I am locked in the bridge and only just stumbled across information about you while searching through emergency protocols. The ship is on lockdown. Need your help to stabilize the situation. Murdered who? How? Two of my colleagues, I suspect more. I watched Emily Jensen murder Jason Taft myself while we were in the living quarters. Mayhem after that. There must be survivors. Engaging the emergency protocols has locked down the ship. Most of the cameras and communications are offline. Emily Hussison? Emily Jensen, Dr. Jensen, is our lead immunologist. Her job is to check samples from the fluidic chambers to analyze viral stasis and immunosystems stability. She works with our team to troubleshoot issues related to long-term cryosuspension and physical degradation. Unlike you and me, the 125,000 residents of this ship are suspended in fluidic chambers, a safer and much more stable form of deep sleep. Jason Taft? Jason Taft was a systems engineer, well, one of two systems engineers. You see, we take shifts. Every 200 years, two shifts wake up to caretake, monitor the sleepers as we call them. Our journey is a total of around 10,000 years near the, near the speed of light. 1,000 years of acceleration, 8,000 years travel time, and 1,000 years of deceleration. I'll age 34 years by the time we reach our destination. Why? Murder? Jensen Taft? That is a very good question, and complicated. You see, they greatly disagreed on the nature of discovery we had made recently. They had never gotten along. Oil and water. She is dangerous, and you should not hesitate to put her down. Put her down? That, that's our mission? Yes, that and rescue any other team members that may be alive. We need this situation stabilized immediately. We cannot continue with our mission and revive replacement crew members until this situation is resolved. Your first mission is to restore power to the elevators. You will find an engineering terminal each, near each of the four core reactor nodes on this level. Manually override the emergency protocols on all four engineering stations. Following that, terminate Emily Jensen. I'll be in touch. We will decide. Termination. I highly recommend that you eliminate her on site. She is emotionally unstable and quite dangerous. Gotcha. I've added a mission entry into your log. You can reference the details of a mission as needed. Let's get that lift online. Log updated. New mission. Override. What's my log? L? Nope, that's universe map. Oh, log, in log entries. Missions. Active. Override. Ask you to manually override current lockdown. Objective. Manually override. You know, I really... I like that. I like it, but it's a little, you know, does it ever stop? Uh, continue. 
Okie dokie. Uh, let's go here. This door is locked. What's that? I think that's where we have to go. I'll waste time by going this way. Alright, escape pods. Ooh! It opened. Okay. Lockers. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A whole lot of more nothing. Hmm. Okie dokie. Let's go this way. What's this? These must be engineering stations. Um. Okay. Override log. And uh, which are currently locked down. So override them. I think I did. Maybe. Somebody did. They did. And it's a goodie box. My energy cells and stuff. Wonderful! Now proceed to the elevator. The override has unlocked the doors just ahead of you. When you get there, take the elevator down, 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 down to the crew deck. You won't be able to get to the vats. The entry deck is locked down. I'm not sure what the problem is. We can deal with that when we have more information. Vats? Yeah, the vats. The vats are large fluidic suspension chambers. The remains of the human race are sealed in these containment chambers in a deep, stable cryosleep. Each vat contains just over 260 human beings. There is a total of 8 vats per module and 60 modules on this ship. You can do the math. No, actually I can't. Alright. So that's done. Uh, any more clickies? Okay. Oh, little icons show what they're doing. They're running, I guess. Wait, my god, is that yes? I think it is. This is very bad. The viral systems are greatly accelerated over previous iterations. You must be very careful. Problem? One of my colleagues, Kelly Master, seems to have acquired the virus. Phage. I can see her just around the corner on my monitor. She seems to, to have acquired a taste for flesh. Horrific and advanced symptom of the phage. Usually, symptoms like this take many months to manifest. A truly grisly sight. I'm quite shaken up. What are the symptoms? The infected becomes non responsive after a high fever. The virus begins to change the physiology of the person it infects, rapidly necronizing the skin, especially areas exposed to the air. Internally, it slows the heart, changes the way the blood distributes oxygen and glucose, and destroys the high-level functions of the brain. The virus attacks the cells and reorganizes the way they utilize food energy. The infected develop an appetite for protein, which then seems to be their primary physiological drive. The entire process can take over eight months to play out. Uh-huh. Recommendations? You must be very careful. At this stage, the infected will attack anyone not infected or in the early stages of phage infection on site. They are fast, strong, and relentless. You must terminate Kelly Masters immediately. I am terribly concerned. There seems to be a body in the corridor, and I cannot make out who it is. Once you terminate Dr. Masters, please search the body for any evidence that could identify it. I cannot believe how quickly Kelly's infection has advanced. Uh, virus airborne? Concern? Nah virus ain't airborne, at least I don't think it is. You should be immune, but doctor's masters, she is, was, also immune. You, however, have the advantage of a genetically modified metabolism. You were born with a hard-coded immune response to viruses, basically immune to all viral disease. Quite amazing. You are a weapon designed to destroy phage, so unless the phage has developed more than accelerated pathogenesis, you should be safe. 
I, however, will remain where I am. Ooh, combat, combat, yellow bar, AP, that's that. Combat, driven by initiative, uses a line of sight, uh, we'll figure it out. This is probably gonna go very bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's up? You're up. And you have, what do you have? A knife. Can, you can, can you hit her? Ooh, you hit her. Gee, who goes first? I mean, who goes, oh, can you, can you hit her again? Again? Right click for more info. I don't know what any of that means. Who's up? Wait, you're still up? Not enough AP. Display and turn options. Spacebar, escape. This will be easy. Okay. You are gonna smash her. Go put. Well done. Mr. Masters is truly a gifted person in life. We worked together closely before the start of this mission. I'm not really sure what to say. Ah, uh, sorry. Thank you. Nothing to be done other than to save anyone left alive. Let's move on. Please proceed to the elevator and the crew quarters deck. Maybe. I see goodies. Data card, small content unknown, ID badge, bloody ID badge, Marty Devereaux, Devereaux, ID the body, I want you to ID the body that doctor, what just, oh, what a fate, I hope he didn't suffer, Marty was one of several engineers on our ship, very nice guy, kept the ship running, we played cards a few times a week on the crew deck. I'll see you get to proper ceremony when this is over. Great. Back to log. ID that he was... Oh, okay, so this is... This is the body that this now stain was chewing on. Alright, gotcha. Energy cell. Warren Gizmo. Never have enough Warren Gizmos. Speaking of Warren Gizmos. Okay. Don't know what I was looking for. Just something that wasn't there. Apparently. Ah. Uh. Uh, I think we're supposed to go to crew deck. Hey, save in the game. That's always nice.